This video tutorial will show you how to use Office Max eBooks powered by ReCloud on your device. This includes how to log in, activating your device, key features within the app, and browsing your virtual classroom clouds. This first section will show you how to log in. Your institution may have already installed the app on your device. However, if you need to do this manually, follow these steps. Firstly, download the installation from the link you received in the Office Max activation email. Double click or open the file to begin the installation. Follow the prompts until completed. Begin by clicking on the Office Max eBooks powered by ReCloud icon. This will open up your login screen. You will need to have both your username and password on hand to log in. Your username and password is contained within the activation email you received from Office Max. This email also contains details of the various eBooks you have purchased. Please remember that your username and password is case sensitive and that you will be able to use ReadCloud offline until you are logged out. You will always require an internet connection to log in. Once logged in, you will see your bookshelf which contains your purchased ebooks. Initially, your ebooks will be loaded under My Purchases. Before opening an ebook, you will need to activate your device. In order to activate, follow these steps. Click on the settings cogwheel which is found in the bottom left hand corner. Select the activation menu, then click activate. You will now be able to download each purchased ebook. Tap on an ebook to begin the download process. A progress wheel will appear and once completed your ebook will open. You only have to download each ebook once as it is stored locally in the app making offline reading now possible too. You will need to be online to access your rich media content such as websites, YouTube clips or interactive text. To access your digital interactive ebooks within the app, complete the publisher registration process outside of ReadCloud so that your ebooks will be available prior to logging in for the first time. Then click on the interactive tile. This will open the publisher's login screen in a browser. Enter your username and password that you just created. Remember to save your username and password details. This section will guide you through the key features within the app. When inside an ebook, click anywhere to display the header and footer. The footer enables you to quickly scroll to a specific page, or alternatively, you can simply click the left or right navigators to reach your desired page. The table of contents enables quick and easy navigation through the chapters and sections of the ebook found in the bottom right of the footer. The header provides tools you can use to navigate, collaborate, and understand the material in your ebook. Clicking on the magnifying glass enables you to search the entire ebook. Choose between looking for a particular word or possibly a sentence and find every instance of that term. Clicking on a search result will take you directly to the page of relevance and highlight your nominated search terms. Clicking on the information symbol enables you to start or join a conversation about the ebook itself as opposed to within the ebook. You can do this with your classmates and teachers. Clicking on the speech bubbles allows you to view all public or shared annotations throughout the ebook. You may edit or delete these or navigate to the page where an annotation was made. You can also filter annotations to find any made by someone specific. Highlight any word in your ebook and the ReadCloud learning toolbar opens. You can then annotate, collaborate and share your thoughts with your fellow classmates and teachers. You can also highlight a string of text or an entire paragraph by simply dragging the start and end markers. By clicking on Reference, you can perform a Wikipedia, Google, Translation and other online searches. Clicking on the Dictionary button will find the definition of your selected text on Wiktionary. By clicking on the Annotate button, you can engage in a conversation with your fellow cloud members. It is here you can ask questions and share your thoughts and comments. You can choose to mark your comment as either private or shared, enabling you to keep private notes for yourself, share with specific classmates, or communicate with the entire cloud, that is, your classmates and teachers. Do this by switching the visibility slider on the bottom left. Once you have shared your thoughts, 
Tap Save and you'll be brought back to your ebook. This last section will demonstrate your virtual classroom clouds. One unique feature of ReCloud is that we create virtual clouds that mimic the physical classroom. Once your class lists and timetable have been confirmed, your ebooks will be loaded into their respective clouds. Clouds are also social in that each cloud has a set of members, including your teachers. Your clouds will contain your classroom content, such as ebooks, videos, images, or websites of interest. You can filter your clouds by tapping the drop down cloud menu, which is defaulted to showing all your clouds and will display the heading My Clouds. ReadCloud also enables you to add and manage your own content in each cloud. Do this by tapping the Curate Your Own Content tile in a cloud, then selecting a media item of your choice, such as a free novel on Feedbooks or an interactive guide on Khan Academy. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please check the YouTube channel for more on how to use OfficeMax eBooks powered by ReadCloud.